Hi, it's uh, Graham from KSL Driving School here. Today I'm down in Stafford. I'm going to be showing you one of the possible test areas that they could take you to um, at any time of the day. So I'm in, in the test centre. Just before I come out, I'm going to check all my surroundings, full blind spot check, and I'm going to indicate left. Then I'm at an unmarked junction, so I'm going to do my checks left, right, left, right. I'm going to signal right and come into the new road. And at the end of this junction I'm going to turn left, there's nothing coming so I can roll out and I'm going to turn that left. I'm driving an automatic car today so slightly different on how I'm going to uh, approach things, obviously no gears. Be nice and easy. So what they may ask you to do here is take the second right, first right being the car park bypass that then I'm going to check my centre right mirror I'm going to signal and turn nicely into the road quick centre right mirror check as I come in then I may ask you to set the next left so centre left mirror check signal down gently braking and coming up carpet street as you can see, into a dual carriageway situation. I'm going to go one way, so I'm going to go left, mirror centre, left, and signal. Nothing's on my right hand side, so I'm going to swing it round, following the curb line. Nice mirror check on my centre, but right, especially for the dual carriageway where cars could be overtaken. And then I'm going to take the first exit on the roundabout. So you can only go left on this one. This is following the Eckershaw Road. So I'm going to say centre left mirror check. Slowing down and going to a stop. So I can see their tyres, the space of tarmac. Checking my right on the roundabout. Straight into red lights. Slow myself down again. Stopping just so I can see the tyres of the car in front and a space of tarmac. I'm in the new road, cancel my signal. So it doesn't look like I'm going into the forecourt. Okay, nice dry conditions. Think how many seconds you're going to be behind them cars. And then I'm into a 30 speed limit. So what they may ask you to do is pull up on the left hand side down here. So we've got the cycle path, but it's dash line, so being very careful and cautious, and especially checking in mirrors in case there is any cyclists coming down. So when it's safe enough, I'm going to pull up on the left hand side, mirror check, signal, coming across, gently braking, and not blocking anyone's driveways. And now I'm going to move off when I'm ready. I've checked around, nothing on my left, a few cars coming on my right. Check my light, right blind spot. I saw some cars go in. So I'm going to signal that I'm safe and apply that gas. Still doing that 30. Scanning in front, I've got the zebra crossing, so I'm just being aware of any pedestrians. Roundabout coming up, I'm going to take the uh, 
sign to Eckershaw, so we can see it's the uh, second exit. So I'll approach, I'm going to think about being in the left hand lane. little bit of brake, checking my right on the roundabout, make sure no one's coming round, especially carefully because it is the uh, motorway junction so they could be coming fast. And then I'm going to mirror signal left, drive lights ahead, on red so just be wary of those. So what I'm doing now as I'm going through the track traffic lights, I'm just checking to my left hand side for any emergency vehicles or anyone that may not notice that red light. Still following Eckershaw into the new road. Centre right mirror check. I just watch the speed up here, it's a 30. Speed limit, don't get caught out. So the car in front is going slightly fast, he was doing 31. Speed limit 50. I'm not going to increase that 30 until I'm through and then progressively speeding up. Then just watching the warning triangles, what you're saying on the road. So they say you slow down a bit so you just ease off the gas for the bend. spot check and move off and then mirror signal left again into Jasmine Road this is an unmarked crossroad so as you're coming in all you need to do is ease off your gas ever so slightly scanning the junction as you're coming through make sure that no one's going to come into the side of you and slow down if need to be I'm going to get a left mirror signal so again at an unmarked junction quite blind on the left so I'm going to come to a stop I'm going to check my right I'm going to check my left and continue checking the left as I'm going through Yes, passengers like the 
car pagans. Now we come to another crossroad, it's very busy to the left and the right. So I am going to give way and I am going to stop because it's um, a closed junction. So I come to a nice controlled stop. I'm going to go straight ahead, so I'm looking left, right, left, right, nothing's going nice and clear into the new road. Straight into national speed limit, so you don't have to go 60, you go with what the flow of the road allows. Okay, so weather conditions, how much traffic, what the limit points are, the bends, everything like that. Right. I'm ticking around about 40 miles an hour now, building my speed up gently. Nice corner coming up, so I'm going to ease off the gas. Blind summit, so again, just coming off that gas pedal slightly. And then increasing again, coming around the bend. Nice sharp corner, a little bit of break, still need to go slow for the bend. around the corner cows and an ambulance so that's why you're going slow around them bends as well hopefully the cows are okay so I've got to be aware now the farmers gonna be there any any loose cows or anything giving a nice distance from the vehicle in front and going through nice and slowly that's something you don't see every day cows and an ambulance Skid risk sign. I'm just going around a little bit slower. Loose chippings. It looks more like it was. Uh, they're all embedded down now. So it's a recommended speed of 20. I'm going to go left here now. So mirror signal. And now maximum speed of 10. So when you see these maximum speeds, it's a recommended speed. So do I have to go 10 miles an hour? No. Can I go 30? Yes. So what I'm doing, I'm just checking the road conditions. They leave the signs there for quite a while uh, as you're going through. So I'm not hearing any stones hitting my paintwork or anything like that. So it's quite embedded down. If you do start hearing then chips, slow your car down. So this brings it to siphon now. So you're watching around again. A lot of hazards have potentially happened. Driveways, cars, you know, just check your mirrors all the time. Being aware of the school zone. I'm driving on a Sunday, so I'm not particularly worried, but you never know, it could be Sunday school. And a nice sharp end, so a little bit of brake. And following the road right round. my speed back into national speed limit still got the skid risk so I'm just being a bit more aware of my speed
to this point you're pretty much halfway through your test so 15 minutes out like this they might ask you to do your show me question so I'm gonna press my horn it's nice and safe okay, so there's a lot of signs there's a junction coming up you give way I'm gonna go left so it's mirror signal routine uh, they may get you to follow the sign for Doxy or Stafford at this point I'm checking left right left right nice and clear coming through over the bridge. So straight over the motorway bridge. And then into a 30 sign. So I'm into Doxy now. Again, very residential. Streets with the T junctions on, just scanning on my, as I'm driving along, seeing if anything is going to possibly pull out in front of me that might affect the speed of my vehicle. I might have to come off my gas if they do pull out in front of me. Now we're going up to speed bumps. So, a lot of pupils, what they do, they brake really harsh for each speed bump. So, all I've done, I've lowered my speed to about 28 miles an hour, and then I'm putting a little bit of gas on. I'm not going to touch my brake now, so I apply no gas over the speed bump, a little bit of gas over the speed bump. So that way I'm not braking in between, all I'm doing is going with the flow of what the speed bumps are allowing me to go over. So again, no braking, ease off the gas and approach. Small amount of gas, and then back off, so on and so forth for all the speed bumps. Obviously, watching the road in case it is sloping down so you might need to ease up a little bit more or apply a little bit of brake or if it's going uphill with the speed bumps you might need to put a bit more gas on okay so this time i'm going to apply a little bit of brake especially approaching the traffic lights don't know if they're going to change so i'm preparing Anticipating that change all the time. Scanning the zebra crossing. Slowing down, coming to a stop if anybody is crossing at that point. If they do cross, wait until they finish crossing and then you can continue. So now I'm going to head towards the M6 North Stone on the roundabout, so mirror signal another emergency vehicle so I'm just seeing where he's going and giving way to my right. Still going to follow the M6 North Stone, so I'll mirror signal left. Okay, and then into the new bypass. So be very careful of this. It looks nice, wide, open, big, quiet. It's still a 30 because it's got the street signs, the street lights are still up. So just be aware of that if you are coming back. The last thing you want to do is be going over that 30 speed limit just before you get back to the test centre. I'm going to go straight ahead, so I'm being aware of the box junction, the traffic lights are on green. I'm going to go left, They're still following the stone, mirror signal. Nice tyres and tarmac.
new roads, new hazards, and lights on red, ease up I guess. Hoping there to go to green by the time I get there, it's a little bit of break. And stopping so I can see the car tyres, and again a space of tarmac. Quick mirror check in case any motorbikes coming down. Now it's moving to the right hand lane when safe enough to do so. So I did my mirror checks, then my signal before I moved across. I'm going to go right on the roundabout. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come round the roundabout. Fourth exit. But then after the roundabout, I'm going to turn right straight after. So, this time, as I come round, I'm counting the exits, I've got one. Exit two, exit three. I'm going to mirror signal left and I'm going to bring myself into the right hand lane coming off the roundabout. So I'm going to go to immediate right and then mirror signal right. So that's something they may ask you to do on your test. So just be aware if it's a right turn straight after a roundabout, use the right hand lane to enter. Just a quick scan of my mirrors again, just in case there's anyone on my right hand side, swinging it round. They may ask you to come into the range, so our mirror signal right. Come into the car park. Straight away into that first gear, or low your speed if you're automatic, and I'm going to do a forward bay park. So what I'm doing, I'm keeping clear of all the cars, I'm getting as far down as I can see. I found the bay I want to get into, so I'm slowing down, check my mirrors, and swinging in to the bay, straighten my wheel, and then I'm going to reverse out. So I'll do all observations, locking my wheel left, Keep looking round, and then I'm going to continue driving forward. Before I do, I'm just going to have a quick look around, and then drive forward. And you go right at the end of the road, so mirror signal. Nothing's going nice and clear. So in the next right, so again a mirror signal. and then they'll ask you to drive into the test centre. Uh, there is a car there, so I'm just gonna bypass it. And come into a bay. Well, that's it. That's one of the Stafford test centre routes. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, show your friends. Uh, everything like that make me some uh get some adverts on these videos for me all right thank you very much take care